Well, tonight a former Prairieville teacher is looking forward to one day getting back into the classroom. That's because through advanced brain technology, doctors here gave her the gift of sound back. She is one of the first in the state to have the procedure and medical reporter Meg Ferris was there. Hearing the sound of running water was life changing for 32 year old Jessica Jackson. Her mom was there. She's like, ah, is there water? There's water. I left water on, but I, I did not even hear the water because I was so engaged with her. For two and a half years, she lived in complete silence. But the awareness that my baby could hear water running was just amazing. Jessica and her two sisters have a hereditary condition called NF2. Their late father had it as well. Benign tumors grow fast in the brain, destroying the hearing and balance nerves on both sides. In a 14-hour brain surgery, a team of LSU health surgeons from the Colicchia Neurological Center gave Jessica an auditory brain stem implant. Today, the audiologist tested the device. Yes. It was phenomenal. Jessica lost her hearing just as she was beginning a career she adored, teaching school children. Mom Karen worried depression would set in and suggested a master's degree. Now Jessica has a new purpose, studying to one day educate deaf children. But for now, she's the student, relearning what we all do in infancy, what each new sound means. I can't really make out what you're saying to me, but I know you're talking. For now, Jessica says our voices sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. She's a superstar because she's detecting in the normal range. And so I actually anticipate her understanding of speech and communication to improve significantly. Jessica misses the calming sound of rain, her godson's voice, her mom's voice too. But now, no longer locked in complete silence, she's gaining her life and independence back. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. So the doctors also perform surgery to restore Jessica's facial nerves. They're hopeful that in a year, her facial movements will return.